and maintenance repairs. I'm interested to know how many of the council assets are lying empty or, or disused, should I say. And uh, to use this uh, as a case study and as an example, I'm going to raise again um, the Hollymore maintenance for that building, just the boiler repaired, was, was costing £450,000, which is an eye watering sum of money. And, uh, and the reason for that was because they were, they were relying on the council's own internal procurement. When is if they went to the private sector, uh, they could have got it done from sixty to ninety thousand pounds. The whole issue about empty properties, how they become empty, and, and what we're doing moving forward, should we be disposing of them? Should we be doing something else with them? Community asset transfers started to happen. Uh, a number of them did not last very long because the organisation that the asset was transferred to was was not viable and. Um, went broke or wound up for whatever reason. Um, but I think ultimately there is only so much value you can drive out of uh, a, a land asset. It, the, 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 there's a limit to what can be done here and there are choices to be made. You might question whether we're currently making the correct choices. Uh, but the point I'm trying to make is we can't satisfy all social value objectives. Uh just because something's a commercial asset does not mean that you cannot get social value out of it. Uh, in some instances, especially when it's a social enterprise, um, the profit motive can actually create an incentive for people to expand the social value. If the council obviously wants to save money and create a return on investment when it comes to its local assets, if it was to allow a social enterprise to take over one of these, and, uh, the, these properties, uh, say on a lease, they're able to go into the free into the free market and the private sector to get much better value when it comes to repair costs. And the argument I was making was that wouldn't it be better than if the council was to loan them that money rather than going to a bank so that they could then get that asset repair, uh, the, the, the repairs done, which would then increase the value of the asset to the council. So in the long term, say that tenant was to move on and, and the economy improves, uh, you would get much better value for that asset. Yes, thank you. I did understand that point. And um, I do recognise you can get social value from commercial assets. That's indeed what we did in um, in North Birmingham, um, where the example I cited earlier about where we've driven out uh, significant social value by placing more emphasis upon it. The point I was um, simply trying to make is that uh, there are choices to be made here on uh, what sort of social value you wish to drive out of any asset. And you can't uh, you can't cover all the bases because there is a limit to what can be achieved uh, of the, uh, the, the, the value of a, a land asset.